responsible. Sound. Uh, it's very, very important. <laughs> Morally sound is what a lot of people don't focus on mm -hmm. because they think that just because they're smart or they have money or whatever that they should be a leader mm -hmm. when they're not morally sound to lead anybody. Preach. So that's one of the things that I think a lot of partnerships um, lack. Yeah, they lack because they look at it like, man, we can make some money together. But they're not looking at it like, are we going to build, not just, you know, get some quick money, but are we going to have a, a more of a legacy relationship or a long-term relationship uh, with the business? So they have to be morally sound, they have to be responsible, so they have to be able to get what they're trying to do done um, before they give somebody else um, work to do. And, they, and you also have to go to this leverage part. The leverage part, I think, probably answers our question well because if you're partnering up with somebody that isn't 100 in what they do, then it's not really going to be worth it moving forward because that's like if, um, let's go back to the barbershop. So let's say you have a shaving cream and you have uh, this barbershop and you all trying to do some work together. So if the barbershop don't have enough clients, what's the point of doing business with, 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 with this particular barbershop if they don't even have clients and you're pretty much just putting your product and wasting your time, there's no leverage. So it's not, it's not balanced. It's just, you know, let's just do something. It's not like a solid business idea or plan because they're not bringing anything to the table. So they have to really bring, that's what I mean by the leverage, is bringing, Potluck, you know, something that's what I'm gonna call it. The top to the table. You know, very important, man. You gotta bring something to the table that's substantial because you know you, you want to rely on them. You want to depend on that partnership because when you're doing something else, they're doing what they're supposed to do. You don't have to go behind them and check on them and all this type of stuff. You can depend on them in that partnership. Um, they have, and that goes into experience and a lot more other things. So, does that kind of answer your question? Or do you have like a, a, a second question to that? Finding partnerships. Do you have any other questions, or is that pretty much it? Um, I really wanted to go in, but I have to leave yeah. this off. Okay. I can't even think about <laughs> okay. what, like, what yeah, my, my follow-up would be. Yeah. But I'll definitely watch it later and see what they say. Anybody else have any questions? Um, we're going to have another Q&A. Yeah, at the end. Is she going to be going to be back before the end? Or no? I'm not sure. Not sure? Okay. Yeah, not sure, not sure. It was All nice right. meeting you, though. All right, yeah. You too, as well. I hope the rest of this goes well. Yes. All right. Do y'all need this? Do y'all need to take a picture of this?